Spender. from in-person to virtual instruction. You even missed your third grade FSA, which was a mandatory testing year for you. But through it all, each of you survived and was able to come back stronger than ever with your academic performance. But in closing, I want to leave you with five lessons in life from Dr. Seuss. Number one, today you are you that is truer than you. There is no one alive who is your than you. Number two, why fit in when you were born to stand out? Number three, you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You, have, um, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Number four, be who you are and say what you feel. Because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. And number five, today I shall behave as if this is the day I will be remembered. Congratulations to you, fifth grade class of 2022. Thank you, Ms. Warren. 
This year's valedictorian for the class of 2022 is Alexis Gonzalez. Alexis will come in every day ready and excited to learn. He was very quiet in class, but always willing to help anyone that needed it. Anything and everything we asked of him, he would do without hesitation. Let us welcome Alexis Gonzalez. Good morning. My name is Alexis Gonzalez. I want to thank my parents and the rest of my family for helping me to succeed to be here today, giving this speech for the graduation ceremony as your valedictorian of fifth grade. I would also like to thank my teachers who have pushed me to do my best, but my mom sometimes says, do the best that you can. Even when I was struggling, my parents would help me and give support. Thank you, Mom and Dad. One person I wanted to mention is my brother, Reynaldo Gonzalez, who always shows me what it takes to succeed. I have a message to say to everyone. Don't give up, even if it seems hard. Thank you, everyone, for helping me to get here. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go, KC Canal Point Class of 2022. Thank you, Alexis. Moving on to a very special award, the Anthony Alderman Award. This award has been given out for many years to students who have always gone above and beyond throughout their entire elementary school years. I got the award too. <laughs> and to present this award, Ms. Angela Oden. The NC Alderman Award is given to encourage and recognize scholars at KEC Canal Point Elementary School. These students have earned top grades throughout all their elementary years. They have consistently attended school. These students display the characteristics of good citizenship, but most of all, these young scholars work hard to do their best daily. I am proud to announce the recipients of the ANSI Alderman Award for Scholarship and Excellence. Alexis Gonzalez. <laughs> Ruby Roman. <laughs> and Rashina Henry. I'm sorry, Rashina Anthony. <laughs> in the front office, so when you come in and you see Mrs. Uh, Cunningham's picture, you can see um, all of our NC Alderman recipients. <laughs> and your name is correct on the Thank you, Ms. Angela. And now the moment we have all been waiting for. The presentation of certificates. Dr. Hibble and Ms. Henley, can you please come up and assist this, please? This is our final roll call for these students in elementary. And oh, what a year it has been. Alexis Gonzalez. <laughs> Ruby Roman. <laughs> Rashina Anthony. Robinson. Brielle 
Amari Cleveland. And Bailey Cochran. These students show proficiency across all grade levels. They participate in after school activities, art club, drum line, band, and they were still able to maintain proficiency throughout math, science, reading, and writing. Okay, before I uh, give my sermon, I have some awards I'd like to give to um, some students that I've challenged this year. One of the things that I looked at was research. Research says that when you keep your mind, mind challenged, you're going to do better. You're going to be engaged in lifelong learning. And one of the things that challenged me when I was in third grade was chess. I never knew that it was going to get me to where I am today. Just a little game of chess. I'm not talking about checkers. I'm talking about chess. Chess teaches a lot of strategies, but it also goes into deep thinking because you're going to lose a lot before you win. And the purpose of that is that you've got to be ready to accept loss. We don't teach, a lot of times, we don't teach our students what it feels like to really lose. Yes, we want them always to win. That's the game of life. But there's also times that you're going to lose. You're going to fail. But when you fail, you don't stay down. You get back up. And the purpose of chess is doing that. And I'm so proud of these students. Um, I hesitated for a long time to involve the fifth graders this year in chess because I didn't think about it till late in the school year. But I got to thinking and looking at the students that's really excelling in the classes, doing well in the academics. To get those kids, uh, uh, give them a little bit more challenge in, in this activity. I tell you, these students picked it up so well, the game of chess. We play every day at the extended day hour, which is at the end of the day. They don't want to leave when they get there. And I had several teams, I had them playing with each other, they played me. I tell you, when I played them after so long, they came very, very close to beating me. I mean, that close. And you know, I must be a good teacher because if they challenge me, they still want to challenge me. And the doors is open uh, for my chess champions, Mr. Alexis. He's always, I mean, I'm not going to call him individually, but uh, I'll tell you, every last one of these students did an excellent job, and I'm scared to play you now. But you all going to move on. I bought them with their own chess board. They also got a, a chess shirt from me, and I'm going to give you all a plaque, which is the principal award today. So that you can just remember where you got that start. And teach your parents. I, that's why I gave them the chess board. Teach your parents at home, your family members. Keep them challenged too, because if they stay challenged, you're going to stay challenged. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Yes. Okay. All right. So, it's a small token for me to these students. Uh, just to say thank you for keeping that challenge and not giving up. That was a big thing I was looking at is when you had a test that you didn't quite understand because they all feared how to start this game. But they hung in there. So thank you. This is principal award to Ms. Brielle Crawford. All right, this is for Alexis Gonzalez. This is Kalia Robinson. And this is Trayvon Corinthian. Now he was actually the closest and he, he felt that defeat when he when he lost me, lost with me, but uh, we stayed encouraged, didn't we? Didn't we? All right, here you go. Good job. Don't give up, guys. Please don't give up. 
I have third graders and fourth graders playing chess now, too. So they're moving up. I started with fourth grade last year. Well, they were third graders uh, last year. They're fourth graders this year. Uh, they were the first group to start, then I added um, some more third graders this year, currently. And um, I have a lot of students that, I got a waiting list now, because a lot of kids want to get into it, but you know, um, with my schedule, as they saw, the times that I had to cancel the, uh, the chess uh, practice due to my schedule of other things that I had to get done, but uh, we still had a good time. And I wish I had a chance to work with all of you, or, or more of you, uh, in that game, but also, when you go to Pokey Middle School, uh, Mr. Denard did say that they have a chess club over there too. So we're going to be competing in contests and district contests next year. Uh, hopefully we can come back and uh, see how you guys are doing as you all prosper with that. This is my favorite time to talk to the fifth grade. As Ms. Warren said in her speech, this has been a very, very challenging year. Well, the past couple of years have been very challenging, not just for you guys, but for your parents and guardians and uh, your support teams at home. Just want y'all to understand how important it is to continue to grow yourself. As I said, the challenges are gonna still come your way. My favorite quote, which I'm gonna always say in, in these assemblies, when you look at a child, or just the way they are, they get worse. Just think about that. If you just look at a child for just the way they are and don't do nothing to them at all, don't teach them, don't educate them, they just get worse. That's human life. But if you can look at a child for what they should be, then they will become what they could be. That is so important. That model stays in my mind every time I come into our school. So when we look at you guys, your parents are looking at you, and they're saying, seeing what you could be. Hopefully you will become what you should be. We don't want you to uh, do anything wrong. We know we're going to make mistakes. Our parents, myself included, still make mistakes. But we don't, want to, we don't want to just make those mistakes just to be making them. That's why your parents are here. To continue to guide you and hold your hand all the way through graduation in 12th grade. My goal, your parents' goal, your guardian's goal, all your relatives, remember you represent home. And in seven years from now, if God's will, I want to be able to shake your hand going across the stage in your 12th grade graduation year. You are now coming over the hump. You're leaving elementary. Wave your hand. Students, just wave your hand. You're waving your hand at elementary now. You're saying bye bye elementary. Bye -bye. Now, I want y'all to do this now. Just do this. Follow my hands. You're now bringing in your new life, which is middle school. Yeah. You're bringing it in now. Bring it in. Bring it in. Not big kids. Well, I guess you can say big kids. Thank you, Ariana. I think you can say big kids. But you're not grown yet. That's right. That's right. You're not grown yet. You still have a lot, long ways to go. And one of the challenges that we continue to face with this class in general was that we had too many chiefs. It was hard with our teachers and our, and our school staff to bring in that sense that rules are still going to be rules, procedures are still going to be procedures, guidelines are still going to be guidelines, even when you get 21, 25, 35, 40 years old. You're still going to follow rules. I just hope and pray that you guys continue to be leaders and not followers. It's a big difference. Look around at your friends because some friends are not friends. They will guide you the wrong way. And I know y'all are hearing this from your parents. 
So take the opportunity now to take it serious as you continue to go. Now students, I know we didn't practice this, but I want y'all to stand, just follow my rules, to stand. I want you to turn around to the audience, and I want you to say as loud as you can go, thank you mom, thank you dad, thank you grandmother, thank you grandfather, go. Thank you mom, thank you dad. And we gotta say thank you, God, too. Yes. Um, you gotta say that. that, that should have been first. So, also, students, I know y'all already said it, but let's say thank you, teachers, Ms. Cortez and Ms. Pendens. All right, now you all are gonna go to that thank you line. Um, these teachers have done an awesome job of coming through a lot of personal things that they had to go through with themselves. They took in a lot. And along with them, we do have um, the academic tutors. Uh, Ms. Williams, will you stand? Ms. Smith, will you stand? Mr. Davis, see you. Okay, he still may be working. Behind the scenes. But again, it takes the village to raise the child. And parents, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me and Ms. Henley to have your child in our hands for many of them since pre-K and kindergarten. That means so much because I remember these guys, you all remember, you used to give me those leg hugs and crying and, and didn't want to let me go and didn't want your mom to go when you came into the school. Now look at you. I can't wait to get you guys out of here now. <laughs> I'm just teasing with you guys. You know, you know I love you guys. All right? Let's give a round of applause to everybody. Okay, let's tell you. The best in the West, AP, let's give her a hand. She does so much behind the scenes. once again, it is my pleasure to have worked with your students this year. Students, one, two, three, all eyes on me. I want you to remember our affirmation. This will not be the last time that you're going to say that you're the best in the West. I want you to always remember that you are the best, and when you believe you are the best, you perform as the best. When you enter middle school, there may be some distractions, but it's also going to be some great opportunities for you, and I want you to take advantage of those opportunities. I want to be able to say that this student attended KEC, the best in the West. So I want you to continue. I have eyes over at the middle school, and I'll find some eyes at the other middle school where some of our students are going. But I want you to know I will be a phone call away if they need me, and they shouldn't. But I just want you to know that I love you, and everything everyone has done, it has been out of love and wanting the best for you. I want you to know that sometimes you may fail. People don't really talk about their failures. They celebrate their successes. But I want you to know when you fall down, that's part of success. I want you to get back up every time and do your best. You won't always win, as Dr. Hibbler said, but you are a winner. You are a champion. There's a champion in you, and I want you to move on to middle school knowing that you are the best, and you're going to perform as the best in the West. Okay? Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Yes! So I want to know, who's the best in the West? We are the best! trying to get that next thought out. Okay, now we have a special presentation for our pre-K through fourth grade students. Our students will take their last walk through our campus. 
So I ask that you remain seated here. If you did not sign in or sign out, because if you're taking your child today, that paper will help us to secure who's uh, signed out for today. So make sure you sign in on that paper so we know that the student was picked up by a parent. So I want you to remain. You can remain here. We have photo ops over here. We have a photo station here and a photo station here. So as your child is taking their last grade, I want you to stay here, stay put for, um, to allow them to move through the campus so that the kids can see their friends and mentors, not for the last time, but as um, a tribute and appreciation for our fifth grade students because they were leaders and did really good things here at our school.